All right, second video. I've switched to using the Arduino IDE. Uh, hopefully a lot more people will be able to compile this and upload the firmware now. So this is the serial monitor of the Arduino IDE and CC shell over here. I've already, you can see at the bottom, I've already done uh, standby enable forward. I'm now testing the throttle uh, pedal pot. I have a dual pot throttle here from out of a, I think like a Ford Ranger or something. Uh, so with that, if I push that pedal pot down, now can uh, control this with throttle. Let me switch the video mode a second here. Seems to hesitate for a second. On the pedal response. We're more or less working here in uh, for the pedal pot now. Uh, Jack had commented on videos about our use of RPM controlled mode whereas the Transit Connect Electric uses torque controlled. Uh, the reason I'm doing RPM control is because obviously with only a two pound flywheel adapter on here there is no load so even five newton meters of torque would be enough to rip this thing right up to its RPM limit with basically no control so that's why I'm in RPM mode. When we start putting these things into vehicles, we can probably switch to torque control mode, which will control a little bit more smoothly like a gasoline engine does. But for now, we're stuck with RPM mode. Probably have to figure out uh, where the ramping is in this. It, it does not ramp up in RPMs very fast. The motor should have more than enough torque to spin up to 5,000 RPMs in like a half a second if it wanted to. But it won't. So apparently there's a setting somewhere that limits that. But seems to be a minor issue. I'm sure we can change that somewhere.